What's up, what's up guys? Um, oops, my mom just texted me because uh, I I rode my scooter home from from uh, driver's ed today. So yeah, she always wants to check on my uh, up on me because uh, I know I I don't do this stuff. My parents won't let me um go out and do that stuff like everybody else does. But today we are um we are uh, I ran out of pictures. I ran out of funny pictures to show you for the beginning of these screen recorded videos but when i was in school um one of one of the one of um one of the the tower enthusiasts on on discord um, um posted a screenshot uh, of uh of new rules um from fa so um yeah I, you know how hard it was trying not to read them and stuff i avoided them as much as I could because I wanted to catch my reaction to all this stuff so um so yeah it, it was it, it took it, it took some time you know but eventually um eventually um I left which when I when this screenshot was posted on discord was like around the time where I was leaving anyway so I had time and stuff you know I didn't have to hold back that much that long you know so yeah so um now that we're here, let's um let's look at these. So I fully expect um one of these new updates to be a, uh, to be um to be an up uh, uh, an updated version of the flashing side marker crap. And there's also another thing like I I I told you guys already, but FAA doesn't want towers under 700 feet to have high intensity beacons. So um. Goodbye high intensity strobes, aka box strobes, and goodbye high intensity LEDs. It would be nice if there's such thing as a high intensity incandescent. Would that be weird? I guess yeah, you know, high intensity incandescents. You'll have to have like um like three or four bulbs, like double the brightness of a normal one, you know. But but yeah, I don't see it working out. But yeah, who really cares? We um, we like how it is already, so. Yeah, let's um let's see go. Okay, so uh all right, the the screen's big enough. Okay. Rule I mean new rule number 1. Flash flash tech in 2020 the f hashtag if it, you know what I want to um I want to read this in the in the in the I want to read this in the most um professional way possible. Basically like um you know all ads and stuff and other things I would imagine all you know how all the I mean I wouldn't imagine they companies do this, but um, but you know how uh, here hold on I got to uh, I think I gotta let my dog out she doesn't want to be in here anymore. Well, what are you waiting for? Go, go. Okay, so you know how um when um when there's like um videos that are made by big companies and or brands and stuff like usually um they'll have uh, mostly a woman um voice um a voice over the commercial saying hello customers today we are going to be showing you the use of our um brand new whatever you, you know they're they're like the they're like the the overly um smart this the overly it's the overly smart voice and and they always use the correct term for everything so um i'm going to try to read it in that okay flash tick in 2020 the hashtag well, hashtags are crunchy to me really the faa altered obstruction light um, obstruction light regulations with AC seventy to seventy four sixty one M, including five high level changes. Okay, five high level changes. Number one, infrared LEDs. Structures filled under one uh, under one M must employ red infrared LEDs and monitor IR strings separately. Okay, the definition of obstruction uh, structures under 499 feet ALG may be considered obstruction wait what what did they do did did they did, did, did they just oh 
I'm having I'm I, I'm having a mini heart attack right now. Did they just did they just move up the the beacon height from from um 200 feet to 499 freaking feet? Did they just structures under four? Oh wait wait structures under 499 feet. Um, okay now I see. It would be nice if um it would uh, you know guys. I don't ever see this coming, but hopefully FA decides to appeal the um, the towers under nine under two hundred feet thing. Crap! Don't get beacons. Hopefully they appeal that because there's a lot of towers that have incandescence are dead that I want to see light up. So uh, yeah, number three, lighting temporary structures, guidance for mar for marking and hashtag lighting hashtag tower cranes. Crawling uh, crawler cranes and um, okay, none of these really aren't that bad. I can say so. Uh, all right. um, cat catenary mark cat cat to know whatever you pronounce it. Just markers, line spacing for marker balls. Your mom's balls. Line spacing for marker balls. Okay, those are the marker balls. Are basically um those orange red orange you know balls that you find on power lines yeah they used they used to be flooded everywhere around uh, highway 63 it's an it's a nostalgic thing to me every time i would go to my grandparents house i would see those and they were they remind me of the country and everything so that they were they were removed for some reason not too sure why they're not there anymore but you know it would be nice if they were but they're not number five lighting when turbines under construction once a turbine reaches 200 feet agl mark it with temporary lighting until construction is complete and the permanent lighting system replaces it you know this is actually a pretty good one because um because you know they can have like now wind turbines can have like you know beacon uh, they can have like two types of beacons in their life or maybe more like one one weird looking LED or just markers flashing markers on top and then a full set of uh, and a full beacon setup you know maybe that can be something that 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 sounds pretty cool you know okay click the link in bio to learn more I don't see I don't see really anything bad about this but like, like um you know uh I don't see anything bad about this, um, unless if this, uh, unless if rule, uh, unless if new law number two, um, oh, if that um, under four hundred ninety nine feet AGL may be considered. Uh, oh wait, wait, no, that's for um, lighting. To, um, structures filled under one M must employ red and infrared LEDs, and monitor IR strings separately. So um one M does that stand for one million, or I'm not I'm not sure, but if it it you know I can I wonder if this is an excuse to um completely destroy white only beacons. Not too sure, but it's red only I can see. So uh, or maybe that's just for um people. They're probably telling them that get a beacon. That that has the capability of shining red, you know. I don't know, but there it is. Um, so um, yeah. So uh, so there's that. There's like a lot of hashtags, you know. <laughs> so many hashtags. So uh, yeah. I still think hashtags are cringy, you know. Like uh, you can watch a YouTube video, just be like my cat meowing, and then um, and then. Below it, like in the description, um, it says hashtag cat, hashtag meowing, hashtag cute, hashtag whatever. You know, this is why I don't like um, hashtags anymore. They're like pretty cringy. Oh, and hashtags are the main reason why people even get canceled now. So if somebody does something that's not even wrong, like speaking your native language, then people can use a hashtag to cancel you on Twitter and crap like that. And yes, there's a YouTuber who got canceled for using his native na native language. He spoke Spanish. Oh my god, that's horrible.